So this is what this is what Dax wants me to do. Stay tuned. No? <laughs> it's, too, it's too much coordination though. I was like, I can't. Stay tuned. I enjoy getting to do these things. Okay, the oven guy is ready. So we don't have to stay tuned. All of that palava was for nothing. <laughs> oh well, that's gonna go on the edit, isn't it? Damn. Whoa, that is one golden roasty chicken in there. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Marion's Test Kitchen. So this is the series where we test out the cool techniques, the gadgets, the products, the methods, so you don't have to. So today we are tackling that all time classic, the roast chicken. The question is though, is it tastier, more convenient? Is it better to cook it in a microwave or an oven? Well. That's the question we're going to be answering today and we have partnered with Panasonic this episode and we're going to be testing out the Panasonic 3-in-1 Convection Microwave Oven. So this guy has three cooking functions in the one appliance. You can bake, grill, microwave, but for us we're going to be testing out one of the 29 auto menu functions. We're going to be testing out the auto roast chicken function. Now the reason I'm so interested in this function is that it combines convection oven cooking with inverter microwave power. Dax pop quiz. Inverted microwave power, go. Okay, so I did some research. <laughs> Look at all this research. Well, I wanted to know, like, what is this inverter stuff and what difference does it make? So if you set a microwave to deliver 50% power, it will actually go through cycles of producing 100% and then turning off to achieve the 50%. You know what I mean? But inverter microwave power can just go at the steady, you know, like lower, steady, constant power. Does that make the sense? The steady, you know, <laughs> constant power like? <laughs> All right, okay, so. Yeah, nah. <laughs> so inverter power, from what I understand, will make things cook more consistently uh, and also more evenly. Mic drop. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna test it out, we'll see. So what we're looking for here is, can the microwave oven offer us anything better? Is there a convenience factor here? Is there a time factor? Is there something that gives the microwave a leg up on the oven? I'm not sure. The microwave's gonna have to work pretty hard because to me, you always get a winner roast chicken out of the oven. So before we get to that bit though, let's do some preparation work. So I'm gonna run you through one of my favorite roast chicken marinades. Uh, so first up, we need a water and pestle. You can also do this in a food processor as well. I've got some garlic. So next up I'm going to add some coriander root. And what we're making here is a very traditional Thai style marinade actually. Uh, and the root part we use because it has a very intense flavour. Now I'm making a double batch here so that I've got enough for two chickens, which why that seems like a lot. Next up I want to go in with some lemongrass and then also some white peppercorns. Okay, now just pound these ingredients down. Oh. Hey, mum, do you want to come do some of this? <laughs> okay, you show, you show everyone the way the professionals do it. It's always quicker when you do it. See? You can see that. I can see that. I can see that you're much better than me. So the good thing to do is also invest in a mama noi mm. for your kitchen. <laughs> Are you available? Are you available for people to uh, borrow you? We don't need it too smooth though, do we? No. Yeah, we that's just, probably enough. Just isn't it? it should be enough. Perfect. Look. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, so if you have a look in here though, we're not after like something, you know, really fine dining here. We're kind of after this kind of, this rough paste situation here. Now I'm gonna get in here with a few other kind of salty seasoning kind of things. So we wanna start off with some fish sauce, because of course we're making a Thai marinade here. And then typically my mum wouldn't add this ingredient. <laughs> but I always had to just uh, like to add a tiny little touch of dark soy because it helps give you a really beautiful, lovely caramel colour on your chicken, which I like. So Shh. 
Okay, so let's get going on our chicken. I'm gonna do a really simple truss for you guys. Um, now, trussing just means we wanna get everything nice and tight and compact so we get a really even cook. Now, I always, always like to stuff my chicken with something. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be something I'm gonna eat, but stuffing the chicken actually means you're taking up some of the air space inside the chicken, which means you don't have a whole bunch of hot air overcooking and cooking the bird from the inside out, if that makes sense. I know we like to get a little bit technical on our test kitchen kind of uh, episodes, but there is always method to the madness. So that's why you stuff your chicken, essentially. Okay, so these birds are now ready for our marinade. There's no other way to do this but to get a little messy. I want you to get right in here, make sure that you're getting all of that lovely flavor everywhere, all over that chicken skin. A little bit of that marinade into the cavity as well, so you kind of get that flavor steaming from the inside out. Okay, so I'm gonna do a really simple truss here. Um, actually, I'm not even gonna do a fancy, like, you know, technical truss. Um, I'm just gonna tie the legs together. Because the main point here with trussing is that you have the legs up and over and things kind of compact here on the side. So the legs aren't sort of flapping down. So you can do that just by doing a simple tie, I think. Okay, so these guys are looking good. I'm just gonna let them kind of luxuriate in that marinade a little bit while I get some preheating going on. So come over to the microwave and um, what we're gonna do here is we're going to use the auto roast chicken function. So let's get to that. We just go to auto roast, here we go. Chicken, start. That's gonna get preheating, just like a regular oven. So let's do the same on this oven. Okay, 180 Celsius and start. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop up just a, a little sweet potato here, some veg for my roast chicken. I'm a skin on kind of girl. How about you guys? All right, just some like mid-sized chunks if you like. All right, just a little bit of oil and some salt on these. How do I love, can I get a show of these coming down as well? The microwave's telling you to hurry up, Dax. Preheats faster than Dax can set up the cameras. Oh, shots <laughs> fired, shots fired. <laughs> How many cameras is Dax operating? One, <laughs> two, three. Okay, so the beeping is saying that we're, the preheat is done, so we're, <laughs> we're on track. There we go. And I'm gonna pour any of that kind of excess marinade left on the tray on the top, because why waste all that flavor? All right, let's come over here, pop this guy in. So now it's prompting me to set the weight. This was about a 1.5 kilo chicken. Forty-four minutes and thirty seconds. That's really interesting because our guy here that's gonna go in the oven, an oven roasted bird at the same weight, 150, is typically around about an hour and twenty. So wow, that's a big difference. Let's see what happens. So the microwave oven has set itself a time of 45 minutes based on the weight of the chicken. Now, I'm a little worried about this because for me, a roast chicken takes between an hour and an hour and a half, depending on the size of the chicken. So like, I'm really worried that this microwave oven is not gonna get the chicken cooked through in that time. Okay, wow, it's currently smelling amazing in here. But what I'm really interested in is what is gonna happen when we open up that microwave door? I mean, to me, that chicken is looking beautifully toasty and roasty. It's only been 45 minutes. This is crazy. Let's have a look. Whoa, that is one golden roasty chicken in there. Oh my goodness. I mean, I gotta say, I was worried that this would not have enough time to cook through, but I mean, look at that skin. It's so beautifully golden. We have some really lovely charry bits from that marinade, which I really like. I love these little charry bits. 
But look at that. That is, <laughs> that is seriously impressive. I want to check out though um, where we're at with the chicken in the oven stage because I want to compare time versus time in this instance. So let's have a look. Ooh, steamy. I can't see. Oh, okay. All right, so obvious difference here in the level of doneness. Yeah, I mean, this is obviously not cooked yet. I think that's incredible. So this is probably gonna take the full hour and 20. Um, so I'm gonna pop it back in the oven, but this guy is ready to go. Look at that. That is seriously impressive. I mean, I was not expecting it to come out like that, right? Yeah. See how evenly it's got right in under those thighs? So I was thinking that, you know, there'd be an issue with evenness of the cooking, but I guess that's, it's completely evenly cooked even in through there. It's amazing. I do think though the real test, I mean, we know that this looks delicious from the outside because it does. Um, the real test is going to be when we get in here and we slice into the chicken and see what's happened. So I always, when I'm roasting any kind of meat, uh, like to leave it for at least like 15, 20 minutes after it's been roasted just allows all the juices to relax and everything to kind of cool down a little bit. So we're going to come back and carve up our chicken in about 15. In the meantime, let's make ourselves a dipping sauce because, you know, spicy, sweet, chilli things. Okay, really quickly here, I want some brown sugar, I want some tamarind. This is going to give us like a nice sour kind of business going on. Some fish sauce, some lime juice. Okay, now a little dash of chili here, and you can go your own adventure. Mild, spicy, and now to freshen things up a bit, I wanna add some coriander. Okay, let me just see. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's like tangy, sour, just that little bit of sweet. Oh, a little spicy, yum. So let's have a look at this guy. It's had its time to rest. Oh, still nice and warm, all right. String off first. Okay, now I like to do legs first, so let's have a look through here. Wow, we're well, looking good. Looking very good. Ah, oh, that roast chicken smell gets me every time. Just cutting through this breast, I can see we are good to go here as well. I mean, it's really cool that you can roast a chicken in 45 minutes. Oh, look at that charry skin. I'll tell you what, being able to roast a chicken like that would actually make me buy this microwave. Yeah, would it? Yeah. Yeah, totally right. I mean, roast chicken is something you love to have midweek, but if you're getting home at like five, six o'clock mm -hmm. and you're waiting an hour and a half versus 45 minutes, it's a no-brainer. If you come have a look at it, we want to get macro in here, Dax, but if you come have a look here, see how you've got that really juicy chicken here and that skin, like wafer thin, crispy, gnarly kind of chariness. <laughs> I'm eating it now. That's everything I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Super juicy, super moist. The chicken skin is delicious. Oh my goodness. That chicken is a work of art. So I wanted to do that carving and that tasting, you know, at the 20 minute mark after that chicken had a rest so that I can compare apples with apples. So I'm gonna wait for our oven guy now to finish cooking, also to give it a 20 minute rest. And then we're gonna come back and carve that guy up and we're gonna see who wins. So this guy is looking really good. I think the colour looks really amazing. We've got those nice charry bits just like we did with the microwave oven. I do think um, maybe slightly not as even with the deep dark colour on the top here, but I mean like overall it looks, it looks really good to me. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with this bird, but I do want to give my oven chicken the same 20 minutes resting time as my microwave oven, just to be fair. All right, let's get in here because really, we don't know until we slice into our little bird here. Smells good. I 
Okay, come in for a visit here, Dax. <laughs> All right, so we got juicy chicken and we've got that beautiful, lovely, thin layer of lovely skin. I gotta say, not quite as dark that skin as in the microwave. Let's do the taste test. Mm. It's delicious. It's juicy. The skin tastes delicious. Absolutely perfect. That is a really perfect roast chicken. It really is. It's delicious. So we've got our two versions of roast chicken here. One took 45 minutes and one took an hour and 20. And I've got to say, you cannot tell the difference. Slight color difference, if anything, I think the microwave did a slightly better job on the even color. It's just incredible. It's ridiculous. Technology wins the day. Well, for me anyway, I mean, you know, 45 minutes, done. Bang, weeknights, roast chicken, yes. Anyway, I'm gonna drizzle some spicy sauce. Oh, it smells nice when that sauce like hits that chicken. Oof. That is good stuff. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, why not hit the like button? And even better, I would love so much if you would subscribe and even hit that little bell button so you get notified every time I release a new delicious video. Thanks guys.